Gamecock fans, welcome to Brooklyn. Gamecocks rolled into town last night, being Wednesday night, so happy Thanksgiving as well as we visit with Coach Frank Martin. He just finished up practice down the street. You've played enough games here now that you've got a pretty good routine when you come to Brooklyn. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I said it when I got hired. I, I love recruiting the area. Uh, but this is a uh, uh, basketball mecca, uh, mm -hmm. for lack of better words, uh, for all basketball historians, New York City basketball, it's, uh, it's strong. And then the obvious connection with, you know, all the guys that played for the Gamecocks back in the day uh, with Coach McGuire and so forth. Uh, uh, just too many connections, too many natural connections for us not to bring our product up here as often as we can. We always seem to get great matchups when you come up here. And certainly, no question about it this time, you've got the Syracuse Orange Final Four team a year ago, legendary coach Jim Beheim, and once again, they're in the top 20. Yeah, it's uh, when I was approached before last season, uh, I said, absolutely. The uh, opportunity to play a Jim Beheim team is, is something that you can't turn down. Uh, little did I know that they're going to be a Final Four team and, and, and just it is where they are. It's, uh, they're, <laughs> it's Syracuse basketball. They're going to be good. They know it. Everyone knows it. Uh, and there's going to be 16, 17, I don't know, whatever the place holds, mm -hmm. uh, people in orange. And uh, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere, something our players deserve to play in that kind of atmosphere. Uh, great platform. Uh, and an unbelievable opportunity and an and and unbelievable learning moment for our guys to prepare as we start getting into these other games where we do play on the road and conference play. What stands out the most about matching up with the Jim Beheim team? Is it that zone defense you have to get ready for? Yeah, I mean, you know, every, you know, Derek, everyone talks about their zone, and their zone, the way it morphs, it, it, sometimes it looks like a 2-3, sometimes it looks like a 1-3-1, sometimes it looks like a 1-2-2. It just morphs to what you're trying to do. And they're unbelievable in adapting in the middle of the game to the way you're trying to attack them. Uh, but the, the, the most powerful part of their zone, 6'5", 6'7", 6'9", 7 feet, 6'10". That's the most powerful moment of the zone. And they uh, they just make it real hard. And it's, it's not a passive zone. It's an aggressive zone. And uh, their size just makes it real hard. Orange lost their top three scorers a year ago. But by coming in with some graduate transfers, they may have a, a group of guys who fit his style better than anybody he, he seems to think he's had in maybe a decade. Yeah, they're old. That's, uh, you know, Tyler Roberson, you know, he's been around forever. I recruited him out of high school, and, uh, you know, him and Chris Silva were actual teammates. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Chris had just arrived in the country. Uh, but, you know, their guards are both fifth-year seniors. Uh, Tyler's been around forever. Coleman's been around forever. Uh, they're an old team. They know how to play. They've been through the ropes. They... Um, you know, and then this is where Beheim's greatness, no one ever gives him the credit he deserves, is the way that he can adapt to the new players and how quickly those new players become positive players in how they play. Saturday afternoon, we'll be at the Barclays Center. Until then, let's go find some turkey. <laughs> let's eat. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.